Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving an equation with an unknown on the denominator. So we've got an equation here, we have a fraction involved in the equation, but the unknown value, in this case the x, the variable of x, is on the denominator of that fraction. So what should we do? Well in general I always say that if you have an equation that has fractions in it, always try to get rid of the fractions as soon as possible. And the way you get rid of fractions from an equation is to multiply through by the denominator. So let me write that. If you have an equation with a fraction, multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. So in this particular case the denominator here is 7x plus 1, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 7x plus 1. And I'm going to multiply the right-hand side also by 7x plus 1, because whatever you do to the left-hand side of the equation, you need to do the same to the right-hand side. Now, if I times the left-hand side by 7x plus 1, it just cancels out the divide by 7x plus 1, and you're just left with that 2 there. And what about the right-hand side? The 9 has been multiplied by 7x plus 1, and you can just write 9 brackets 7x plus 1. That means 9 times 7x plus 1. Remember, when you have things next to each other in algebra, it means you're multiplying them together. So you don't need the time symbol there. And now we've got a much simpler equation because we don't have uh, any fractions. We can just multiply these brackets out and then solve from there. So let's expand out the right-hand side. We do the thing in front of the bracket times each of the things inside the bracket. So we do the 9 times the 7x. 9 times 7 is 63, so it's 63x. And you do the 9 times the 1, which is plus 9. Looking good so far. Now remember, we're trying to get the x on its own. Now the x has been multiplied by 63, then we added 9 to it. We want to undo the last thing that was done to x. The last thing was adding 9, so therefore we do the opposite to undo it, which is subtracting 9 from both sides. So if we do that, 2 minus 9 is negative 7. And if we minus 9 from the right-hand side, it gets rid of the plus 9, cancels it out, and we're just left with 63x. And finally, x is being multiplied by 63. We want to get rid of that times by 63, so we divide both sides of the equation by 63. So we get minus 7 over 63. And the divide by 63 cancels out that times by 63, and we're just left with x. Now, this does simplify because we could divide top and bottom of this fraction by 7, because 7 does go into 63. So if we divide the top by 7, we just get minus 1. And if we divide the bottom by 7, we just get 9. So the final answer is that x is equal to minus a ninth. If you wanted to, you could put the minus on the front, so minus a ninth like that, which I, I personally prefer.